Today we're going to talk about the characteristic of matter. Matter can separate into three different types. We have solid, liquid, and gas. For solid, we have we used to identify solid in three different types of form. We talk about the shape. We also talk about the volume. Uh, about something whether they can be compressed or they are not compressed or the word incompressible. And lastly, we talked about how the particles are moving. So for solid, we know every solid has a has some stuff that I can hold on. So solid has a definite shape, and it also have a definite volume because we can do the length times the width times the height, and that will be the volume. With solid, we thought that the molecules are so close together that they are not moving. In fact, they are not really moving, but they are vibrating. So molecules are vibrating. So with solid, if you if you notice, I can press this book, and this book is not going to get smaller. So so solid is something that is incompressible. Okay, we're going to talk about the second type, which is liquid. If you look at the molecules of a liquid. I want you to imagine that a solid will be when you are sitting around in the classroom and you will be kind of moving around but you are stationary in your seat. If you are in a liquid, you are almost like walking freely. It's like after class, you walk outside the hallway, you can move freely from one class to another class. Now in fact for gas, it will be a little bit different because gas is almost like you are in the gym, you are just running around and as manifest. With gas, molecules are moving really fast. Okay, so let me go back to to liquid for a second. With liquid, the molecules can move freely, and with liquid, I don't have a definite shape. If you want to try to catch water, I cannot catch it because liquid does not have a definite shape. But in fact, liquid does have a definite volume because I can pour water into a bottle, and I look and look at the bottle, I can see what's the volume that is. And with water, if you try to compress water, it was, it's like it's just going to walk away from you. So with liquid, it does not have a definite shape, but it does have a definite volume. And liquid is not compressible, or we use the word incompressible. And the molecules are moving freely. Let's go back to, uh, let's go to gas. With gas, it's a little bit different because gas is moving rapidly. And the molecules are very far apart from one another. So for gas, it's like liquid. I cannot catch it. If you're looking in this room, I try to catch gas. I couldn't catch it because it does not have a definite shape. And gas is so far apart. It, it's like whatever room you are, you are occupy some kind of gas. So it really is not like a definite volume. Because that because for, for gas, I could actually compress it. The molecules are so much space between them, I can compress them together. So for gas, it also does not have a definite volume. And just like what I said before with the molecules, um, with gas, it's like you are in the gym running around. So the molecules are very spacious apart from one another. And they're moving very quickly. So that would be the three, um, three characteristics of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gas.